shout out to my brother, Oba. Uh, that song I absolutely love is called I Am By Me. Uh, Oba is a brother from back home, back in Florida, and he is um, kind of pioneering this new genre of music, which is like Orisha, FBA, Afrobeats type of style. It's super dope. The song is super dope. Uh, he actually used me for the music video for the song. So when it come out, y'all, I don't know who I think I am, honey. I did a music video. So I'm a model now. All right. So, you know, I'm, I'm a music video vixen pretty much at this point. So no autograph. Like, can y'all not, like, please stop. I know y'all you want an autograph, but try to contain yourself, please. Yeah, we back. Yo, y'all boys been blowing my phone up since this morning, man. What's going on, man? Man, the email getting blown up, the Instagram DM getting blown up. Bro, the comment section getting blown up. Yo, yeah, I saw it. I saw it, man. I saw it. Let's talk about it, bro. We're going to talk about it. Is Six the Goddess returning to her African roots? Let's get into it. Now, you already know last week I put out three classic videos. Take a look up on the screen. Six the Goddess versus Black Immigrants. Six the Goddess versus Jessica X. Does a woman's past matter? And Six the Goddess versus Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews holding women accountable and those three videos came after i dropped another video entitled miserable women versus beautiful women and y'all came into my comment section because at that time i wasn't too familiar with the content of six of goddess at that time i knew the name i knew the brand but i just reacted to a piece of content she put out and y'all jumped into my comment section y'all said nefakari what you doing bro this against the code she don't even like africans she ain't even pan africanist what you reviewing the content why you giving up promo and i was like bro i ain't even know nothing bro i just knew she was you know that chick from instagram with the head wraps and the afrocentric jewelry and you know what i mean i thought she was pan african way back in the day right but y'all brought me up to speed and you were like nah bro go look at this video go look at that clip go over here go over here and i was like i right, bet yeah, she with that Tarita Nasheed camp over there. She, yeah. So I was like, all right, bet. Say no more, bro. It ain't nothing. So I dropped three classic videos back to back. And you know on my channel, bro, we go at everybody in black YouTube, bro. Everybody, we're going to make them take a seat. We're going to put them on the podium. We're going to put them in the courtroom. And we're going to lay down the judgment. But when it came to the case of Six the Goddess, if you notice, I approached her situation a little different, right? I didn't just come on the video guns blazing with a flamethrower and just ripping her apart. I ain't do that, bro, for various reasons. I told you, number one, she's a woman. So if I come right now and I start laying the hammer down, start laying the fire and brimstone down, by, I told you, by next week, in six months, in two years, she might not even be standing on that same position. So that's why I said, bro, don't even waste your time. Don't waste your time trying to hold these women accountable. That's the same thing I told MTR. I approached it a different way. I just analyzed the situation from my point of view and I gave my evaluation. I ain't try to make an answer to any accusations. I ain't try to approach it like I'm approaching a man. When it comes to a man like Tariq Nasheed, like Professor Black Truth, like Jason Black, like O'Shea Du Jackson, like MTR, all these dudes in black YouTube that I be coming at and I be laying them down, I be ripping them apart, bro. Man to man, we're going to handle that. Man to man, we're going to do that. Because as a man, your word is everything. But when it came to the women, bro, I was like, man, I ain't going to waste my time with that shit, bro. I'm telling you. I told you. What I say? I said, let her run into a fly young Pan-African. You think she's going to stand in that brother's face and disrespect him? Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. And that goes for every woman of every race. Let a fly young intelligent brother come through. Even if she's repeating the talking points of Tariq Nasheed, don't even worry about that shit, bro. Don't even worry about that shit. I said, come back at a later date. I said, come back in two years. It wasn't even two weeks and take a look up on the screen it wasn't even two weeks y'all boys hit my email y'all hit my motherfucking y'all hit my instagram dm and you were like bro she in the music video right now as a video vixen with a nigerian artist i was like yo in the back of my mind i told you i told you what i said bro what i said that's why i said don't take none of that shit personal bro anything a woman said don't take none of that shit personal bro don't even fly off the handle don't ever jump out the window don't ever jump out the window i told you sit back relax remove yourself from the situation and just observe and just observe the scene bro i'm telling you i'm telling you a woman will say the most out of pocket shit the most off the wall shit and come back to you 48 hours later and look you dead in your face and say i didn't mean any of that i didn't mean anything i said all of, everything i said was fraudulent everything i said i didn't mean it I'm sorry, I was mad, I was upset, you know how I get And you sitting there like, damn, I mean, you said You said F you, you said F my mama You said F my sister, you said, you told me to go to hell God damn, and then she gonna dead look in your face And be like, I'm sorry, I was mad That's why when y'all told me to get at her And I was like, bro, I ain't getting at her, bro, I ain't getting at her Because she probably don't even believe the shit that she's saying 
She just repeat. She just regurgitate what Tariq be saying. She don't believe none of that shit she's saying. Anybody who says tether, that is the unspoken way of saying I'm a disciple of Tariq Nasheed. The same way the twelve disciples or the twelve apostles was was regurgitating everything Jesus was saying. Listen, if you say tether, that lets me know, nigga. You just regurgitating Tariq Nasheed, nigga. Tariq Nasheed, yo, daddy, he got his hand up your ass. He got you acting like the ventriloquist dummy. So at the end of the day, once I seen that, bro, a woman gonna follow, man. A woman gonna follow, and she gonna be a product of her environment. So I never take it personal, bro. I don't. I never take it personal, bro. Six to God is like. Like I said, I remember the image that she had when she first popped up on the scene. Take a look up on the screen. Years ago on Father's Day, she would put up posts on Instagram like this. And as we all know, her aesthetic was heavily Afrocentric. And even in the modern day, to some degree, it still is. It still is. You still see that there. You still see it. But the only thing that changed is the rhetoric, and that's due to the environment. I already went in deep on my last couple videos about her when I spoke about women are a product of their environment. They're going to respond to the environment. They're not really known to change and shape shift the environment. So if you drop her in an environment, she's going to adapt. And as you all know, she has an audience to maintain. So if a good portion of her audience is following behind that bullshit, following behind that ignorance, talking a whole bunch of bullshit, she's going to entertain that. She's going to pander to that. Why? Because guess what? They're going to crack open the goddamn checkbook and they're going to be like, oh, six to God, let's take this hundred dollars. Yeah, F them tell us. Woo! You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, she got to pay her bills. She got kissed the feet. I understand that. But baby girl, we know who the fuck you are for real. We know how you came up on the scene for real. And even in this video, like my last couple videos about her, I'm not going to go in on her. I'm not going to slice her up, bro. I'm just going to tell you six. I'm going to tell you this. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know because years back you were already a Pan-Africanist. So none of this should be new information to you. Six the Goddess already knows that we got to unite across the world in order to create a new reality for ourselves and our future generations. She already knows about that because she used to talk about that. Six the Goddess already knows that Africa is the future. She already know that. And plenty of people already know that too. That's why in my last video to Professor Black Truth, I spoke about how in 2022, Ghana generated $2.5 billion in tourism alone. And they gave that long list long list of people that came and visited all through the year and recently kenya just launched a satellite into space i got to do a video about that so listen it's a lot of beautiful shit happening across the world across the african continent a lot of beautiful shit and six the goddess already knows what it is man i don't gotta say too much bro six the goddess get your money pan it to them dumbass niggas but at the end of the day she know africa the future she know africa is the root she know africa is the root she know africa is the future she know africa is our origins and it is what it is everything i'm saying she already know and even if at this point in time it may be trendy it may be fashionable to disrespect the mother continent to disrespect africa and disrespect the descendants of mother africa at the end of the day like i said it's a trend it's fashionable right now but at the end of the day i guarantee you this six the goddess gonna fall back on the same shit that brought it to the top when she came up on the scene, when she first popped up on the scene, she was Pan-African and six to God a six footer. You know what I mean? She wasn't calling nobody tether. She wasn't telling nobody to go back to their African hut with no electricity. No, she wasn't saying none of that bullshit. But it's fashionable right now. It's trendy right now. There's a segment of our people, they enjoy that ignorance because they've always held that sentiment in their heart. But six to God, she knows better because she came up, she wasn't talking none of that bullshit. She was embracing Africa and Africans were embracing her. Even in this video, an African is embracing her. She's the main event. She's the star of the show. She's the leading lady of the music video. And when I look in this video, that's the six, the goddess that I know. That's why when I dropped that video reviewing that clip from her and Danica Marie and y'all flooded my comment section and y'all told me what six, the goddess she run with Tarina Sheed, bro. Why you make it? Why you posting a video, bro? Delete this video. I was confused, bro. I was like, this six, the goddess this is the Pan-Africanist chick from Instagram. What you talking about? I'm telling you, bro. I was confused. I was caught off guard because I don't really keep up with her content too heavy, but I know the aesthetic and the brand that she built up over the years. But as I already told you, you got to watch these women by their actions and not their words. They going to say anything out their mouth. Anything and everything is liable to fly out their mouth. But don't pay attention to none of that. Don't get in your feelings in regards to none of that. For example, years back, take a look up on the screen. Six the Goddess will be on Instagram, bigging up the brothers in the Ivory Coast, burning shit down. I'm not going to post any videos or pictures of her child on YouTube, but she would have her son rocking the RBG red, black, and green Pan-African colors all the time, bro. She didn't come in the game talking that Tariq Nasheed shit. So even when I see this video, I'm not surprised because this is her in her natural element. This is who she is for real. I mean, yeah, I understand. She got to put on the act. She got to put on her persona for you dumbass niggas who hate the fact that you got African DNA in your bloodstream. So she got to act like she hates Africa as much as you do. So you can break open that checkbook and send a super chat. But at the end of the day, she ain't rocking with you dumbass, slow ass, slow class ass niggas. Fuck you, nigga. She rocking with the Pan-African young intelligent brothers, man. She not rocking with you goofy ass niggas. She know Africa the future. And you know Africa the future, you weird ass niggas. Yeah. In fact, years back, Six the Goddess would hop on Instagram and post things like this. The black woman is the first teacher. What is the most important thing a woman will teach her son? Through the way she treats her son is how he will view all black women in his life subconsciously. Bro, I'm telling you, Six the Goddess came in the game. Mother Goddess, Goddess Emoja, daughter of Oshun, 
I'm telling you. In fact, in my last couple of videos, you remember I mentioned that way back before she rebranded it into the Six of Goddess podcast. It was called the African in America podcast. Take a look up on the screen. This was at 127 weeks ago. A new episode of my podcast, African in American, is now available. Click the link in my bio to listen now. Be sure to subscribe and rate the show. And this one right here, I don't even got to say nothing. Take a look up on the screen. This was way back, like during COVID, January 2020. She said, TBT, my baby six years ago. And you see he banging, you know what I'm saying? He banging on them African drums, doing his thing. Shout out to little bro. You know what I'm saying? My baby six years ago. All African boys should know how to play drums. Drums are such a huge part of most of our cultures and signify a rite of passage, masculinity, and manhood. He's been banging on these drums since his little hands could handle it. I've seen him out drum grown men. Bro, we know who Six the Goddess was for real. That's why I said, when y'all hit me up, should I be surprised when I seen the video? When I seen the music video, should I be surprised, bro? No. And in my last couple videos, I told you it would happen. Now, I didn't expect this to happen so soon. I thought it was going to be, you know, in, in two, three years when the, when the trend started to die off and shit. I didn't know it was going to be two weeks, but I told you it was going to happen. Now, get in the comment section and tell Nefakari, you are right. You are right. Y'all wanted me to fly off the handle and roast her up and cook her up. And nah, I ain't going to do that, bro. She a woman, bro. She a woman. When it comes to women, you got to give them a little bit of grace, man. Because half the time, they don't even know what they saying or what they doing, bro. They just be doing shit and saying shit. To be honest, you know, it is what it is, bro. I grew up with y'all. I know y'all very well. I know the black woman like the back of my hand, bro. I know the black woman up and down, inside out. I know the black woman. I love the black woman. And I know her very well. I'm very familiar. And one thing I know about the black woman, don't take anything she say personally. Because nine times out of ten, she's a product of her environment. And she's simply regurgitating some bullshit that she heard from another man. And if she likes you enough, she'll start following you and regurgitating the same shit that you be saying. So at the end of the day, bro, don't take it personal. Don't fly off the handle. Don't jump out the window. We know what it is. And off topic, but I just want to say... Shout out to the homie who's actually, whose song this is. The song ain't bad, bro. The song ain't bad. Like, all jokes aside, I like the song. I like the video. I like the theme. I like the lyrics. I told y'all, bro, I be with the ancestors. I be congregating and communicating with the ancestors. And I heard some of them bars on the song, bro. That's a brother that be with the ancestors, too. Hey, shout out to my brother, man. Listen, that's a brother that be, that be with the ancestors. And speaking of the ancestors, take a look up on the screen. This is a post from Six the Goddess from, I believe, January 2020. As you can see, she got the ancestral altar. She got the symbol of the African continent hanging up on the wall. And in the caption, it said, when I need guidance, when I need direction, when I need answers, or when I simply miss my mother and want to feel close to her, I lay at the altar. And there I feel her presence and hear her voice. And sometimes I bring her a gift. You see, this is how Six the Goddess came up in the game. And I be with the ancestors too, bro. Come into my crib. Well, I'm not going to let y'all in my crib. But I be having the altars too, bro. Yeah, yeah. I be having the altars too. And sometimes before I make a certain video, when I, when I touch on topics like history, and when I be really going in deep, sometimes I got to go to the altar, bro, to get that inspiration, bro. Let the ancestors take over my body so I can deliver a message. Where do y'all think I get the inspiration for so many of my videos that I do when it comes to history? I be at the altar, bro. The ancestors be coming through me. They be taking over my body, bro. Hell yeah. But anyways, that's all topic. Let's get back to the topic. I just want to say the video is fire. The song is fire. And surprisingly enough, even though y'all told me that she panders to that xenophobic element of the FBA movement, I didn't see any negative. Uh, I didn't see any negative comments in the comment section unless she's been deleting them or blocking them. But I didn't see not one single. I didn't see nobody say, oh, this tether music. Oh, get this tether bullshit out of here. Get this African shit out of here. I ain't never. I ain't see not one. I see everybody bigging her up, especially the women. The women saying she look beautiful. Even the guys saying she look beautiful. I seen one dude talking about, oh, six the guy that's represent our African queens. I was like, oh, I was surprised. Y'all told me she with the FBA Tariq the Sheed crowd, the anti-African crowd. So in the comment section, I see people showing love as of right now. At the time of this recording, I see nothing but love in the comment section. But at the same time, I can't be surprised because if those subscribers were with her since day one, then they already know how she came up in the game. She already know. They already know that she came in the game as a Pan-Africanist type chick. In fact, take a look up on the screen. When President Robert Mugabe passed away, Six the Goddess said this. Rest in power, Mugabe. They'll call you a dictator. They'll call you a murderer. But the rest of us know. Nobody is as villainized and given a harder time than a black person trying to save Negroes from themselves. The ancestors have gained a major strength with you. So at the end of the day, bro, nobody should be surprised that she's in this music video with this brother, man. Six the Goddess, this is who she is in her natural element, bro. This is the brand that she built. She might have made a pivot because the Tariq Nasheed trend is kind of popping right now, but it's on its way down. But I'm telling you, once it's all the way down, she gonna hop right back on the same train she was riding before that bullshit popped off. Especially if that shit ain't making no money. I tell you that right now. If that shit ain't making no money, she gonna make a pivot. She gonna make a transition to something else. And like I said, women respond to the environment. Men change the environment. So you see my brothers up in the African continent launching satellites into space and shit. I'm telling you right now, all that xenophobic anti-African rhetoric, that Tarina Sheet and that sector of YouTube, it ain't gonna last, my nigga. 
it ain't gonna last. At the end of the day, they're gonna be the ones looking stupid. We out here launching satellites into space, baby. We on some whole different shit. Ghana generating 2.5 billion in tourism shows that black men and women are circulating our dollars. Kenya launching satellites into space shows that black men and women, yeah, we going into the future, baby. Yeah, we going into the future. We living that bullshit in the past. And before we get up out of here, take a look up on the screen. Back in 2019, Sixta Goddess hopped on Instagram and she said this. I remember when Meghan Markle married the prince. People said they were happy to finally have a black woman as a real queen. We've been queens for millions of years and queens that actually accomplished things and were hands on with their work. We've been running things. Are y'all familiar with Queen Nzinga? She was a woman of the 1700s and fought back European slave traders for more than half her life. While others were foolish in their ruling, she stayed sharp and ahead of everyone else. She had all the sense. It's a beautiful thing when a woman uses her mind to win. She would form coalitions with her enemies and then destroy them. Her charisma was undeniable and one of her top war tactics. It's interesting to me because she used the Eurocentric deceitful mindsets against them killing snakes with their own venom. Now y'all can go on our Instagram and y'all can read the rest, but yeah, big up Mama and Zynga. Big up, big up, mwah. Love you, baby. But what I'm trying to say is this. None of this should surprise you. This music video should not surprise you. This is who Six the Goddess is, for real. She just, you know, she got a panda to these dumbass niggas that don't know shit about Queen and Zynga and pretty much any legendary African head of state, any legendary black leader of the past two, three, four thousand years. They don't know shit. So unfortunately, Six the Goddess got a panda to these dumbass niggas to, you know what I'm saying, to get their super chat money and shit like that. It is what it is. Get your money, Six. It is what it is. You know these weak ass niggas gonna give you the money any goddamn way. Do your thing, Six. Do your thing. But, you know, we know we know what it is, baby. We know what it is. So we ain't gonna stress it. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna get emotional about the shit. When you call us a tether, when you say, when you call us tethers and tell us to go back to Africa, I ain't tripping about that shit. I know you gotta, I know you pandering to these dumbass niggas. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. But anyways, man. The video's dope, the video's cool, the song is fire, it's dope, big up to the brother, I don't know his name, his name is like Ogun something, Ogun, yo, bro, I'm telling you, she with a big African, you know what I'm saying, oh, my, my man called himself Ogun Lando or some shit like that, I don't know, man, but big up to the homie, man, big up to the homie, keep doing your thing, bro, I appreciate it, bro, I like it, I like the music, man, I like it, it's a boy Never Card Desolane back in the building, yes, indeed, like, share, subscribe, cash app in the description, and I'm gone, peace. On a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shoot. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me blocking my vision. Care for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art, and they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play all my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the Sauce, packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so at least. Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gon' murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.